Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Thor. I am building robots that one day will save the world. I have that mission. I have that belief. My name is Dennis Hong. I'm a professor and the director of Romela, the robotics lab at UCLA. This robot can climb ladders, drive a car, close and open valves, use power tools, and do things that a normal person can do in this situation. Innovation comes from failure. I was born near here, uh, Paulus Furtis, California, but when I was three years old, our family moved to South Korea. I was a little bit oddball. Every single appliance, being a radio, the washing machine, you know, the, the vacuum cleaner, everything, I always, everything, I opened it up, disassembled, and I broke it. Now, of course, if I did something wrong, my mom and dad gave me a hard time, but they never gave me a hard time when I broke any of the home appliances. So in our lab, in our culture, it's okay to fail. These robots are not cheap. These are multi-million dollar research projects but I tell them to try to break the robot because if your robot doesn't fall and doesn't break, you don't get to learn anything. The famous architect Louis Sullivan once said, form follows function, which means that the shape of an object is dictated by what it's used for. Uh, for example, if you have a vacuum cleaning robot at home, that vacuum cleaning robot does not look like a janitor. It looks like a big disc because the most optimal shape is that size and shape because it needs to go under your couch and avoid obstacles. It's a hug huggable hump. UCLA My name is Laura, the Lufkin Automated Robot Assistant. Nice to meet you. How often does it rain in Los Angeles? Almost never. Every day is a great day in Los Angeles. Now, Darren OP is not a toy, it's a serious tool, and it's very expensive to build, but the general public loved it. This might be a simple robot, but all the technology that goes in here, we develop these technologies to develop bigger projects, more important things, uh, you know, firefighting robots, bomb disposal robots, disaster relief robots. This robot is mainly designed uh, for demining a lot of people, and especially kids step on it. It will have a sensor on the belly, so as it walks, it senses if there's a bomb or a landmine. There's arms coming out of here and dismantle it. So that's the general idea. Robots that I build is to really help people, help society. And I think I got the uh, you know, inspiration from Star Wars. So again, Star Wars, it's a movie, it's a science fiction movie, but for me, uh, it really changed my life. I have to say that, uh, you know, the general public's expectation of robotics is so high, it's not accurate. When people come to our lab, the first, like, few minutes, they go like, wow, this is cool. But after a few minutes, they say, can it do this? No, we can't do it. Can it run? Can it climb the walk? And they say, no, no, we don't have that technology we're developing right now. They think the science fiction is reality. The robots that you see today in our lab, these are state-of-the-art robots. They cannot even walk steadily. They fall down, they're slow. We have a long way to go. 